Hello everyone, uh, this is Rashwin, the Asian mechanic guy and for today guys, we are going to make a simple uh, diagram of how to check your engine coolant temperature sensor or ACT so guys, uh, join me today and hopefully we could, you know, learn something of uh, how this uh, sensor works and how to diagnose it so without further ado let's get started okay guys uh, one of the uh, procedure or way of how to uh, check your uh, engine coolant temperature sensor or ACT if it's this is working you can use your oops, uh, multimeter set it onto the ohms and then get your uh, sensor so as you can see guys in here you can see it says open loop and now you can just touch there's like always uh, it's not always there's we got for this sensor we got two pin so just touch it doesn't matter what leads you're gonna touch it so guys one sec so as you can see it has around three point uh, kilo ohms 2.9 so again guys, it doesn't matter what leads you're gonna touch or what pin I should say. So this one is working guys. So now I'm going to make a simple diagram of uh, how to, you know, how this uh, sensor work. And by the way, this sensor, this uh, uh it's 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 a switch that makes your radiator fan working so this is guys this is a normally closed loop meaning there's always a continuity in here so now guys uh i'm going to start so let's say this is your switch we call we call this also a thermo switch sorry for my drawing so this is our sensor so in our sensor there is a two connection so one will go to ground so negative and then in order this uh, sensor to work we should have a relay so this is our relay and in our relay we had a, a solenoid inside so this let's say this is our solenoid so in a relay we could say this is 85 and this is the 86 so let's say like that and then at the bottom this is 30 and then we got 87A by the way this is a 5 pin uh, relay 87 and then guys so basically this this is normally close this is a close close loop when this is still cold so again this is close loop so this will go in here to number 85 so this is also so if this is a, a ground and this is there's a continuity in here this supposed to be also a negative so negative 
negative. So in, in order this relay to work, this should become, this should be a positive. So this will go into, guys, a, a switch, or I mean ignition switch in, but before it go to a ignition switch, there should be a, a fuse. So this is a fuse. Let's say this is 30 amp. Then, guys, I'm going to draw an ignition switch. So let's say this is our ignition ignition switch. So battery, accessory, this is on, and then this is start. So let's say this is our key. Yeah, this is our key. So this is your battery, accessory, on position, and then start position. So this is will be connected into your on position. And now guys, this 30 also need to be connected. So again, this is positive in here in your ignition switch so this is also positive this is also positive and before i i'm gonna make also a battery so this is your battery so this is your positive negative so so but uh, connection of your battery is over here but before it will go to your directly to battery there is a fuse probably this let's say this is 80 ampere and this is be grounded it into your body ground to, of your car so now guys this is what gonna happen so by the way this this uh this relay we call it uh, normally close loop so meaning this is a pipe pin so meaning it's always connected in here see this so if the engine is off you haven't started yet the car this is how it look like See that guys? And then guys, I'm gonna draw also your, this is your fan. Let's say this is your fan. Okay guys. And let's say, okay, this is your fan. All right. And there's also two connections. So again, this one will go to your body ground. And this one will go to your output. So it's, it's directly, guys, it's direct, directly connected into your radiator. So meaning... It's connected the power so this is also positive and then this will become positive 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 so your fan will turn on but then guys like I said when you turn on the switch this will energize and then this thing will go onto here and this is an open loop so now your positive is in here now your your fan is not gonna work because there's no more positive going to your radiator fan so until your because because this one when you turn on the key right it goes to on this solenoid will engage so it will engage so this will go in here 
and this is an open loop nothing will you know there's no output in this for this one let's make it closer so there's no power going to your radiator it's only negative so this one's not gonna work until your thermo switch like i said this is normally close at around 90 degree celsius this one will disengage so it will cut so there's no more there's no more negative going here so if there's no more negative going in here this this thing will disengage disengage in disengage and when it will go in here onto your 87 into your output and then it will give you a power feed and then your radiator will work i guess you will you get my point so again guys this is how it works so you start it in here you turn it on there's a fuse in here so this is positive positive now this one will engage your solenoid by the way this is how your uh, really works outside so it's this is your 30 uh, 30 uh, this is your let's say 85 and this is your let's say 86 and then this will let's say your 87a and then this is your 87 so that's that's how it looks when outside the uh, relay but inside it, it will look like this so when you turn it on the circuit will this in, will engage so this this one will go on to 87 so now we, we got an open loop so every time every time you turn on the key it will disengage your fan is not gonna work so again you tur turn on your car this one will engage this connection will go to your number 87 and then there's no more positive power going to your radiator and then your power will not gonna work until this is the the role of the switch so when the switch reaches around 90 degree there's no more like connection in here it will cut so there's no more negative there's no more ground so there's no more ground in here it will disengage the circuit so the circuit will go back to number 87 and then there's like positive here going directly to your radiator and then your radiator gonna work that's how a thermo switch uh, how a thermo switch will work or the, your engine coolant uh, temperature sensor I hope guys uh, you've learned uh, something today if you have uh, any question uh, any suggestions guys uh, please comment below and guys don't be what we call the part part changer you need to diagnose it don't just oh my my radiator is turning on all the time so maybe i had a bad radiator guys you need to learn how to diagnose a car in order to like you know uh, properly uh, change the bad uh, parts so guys uh, i hope this video helped you and guys uh, please watch also my other videos and please consider like uh, and subscribe my channel so that's all for today and see you in my next video bye bye